Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano of California is rattling from uh, substantial earthquakes. Magnitude 5.2 near Mono Lake, 4.6, 4.2, I'm sorry I'm stuttering, it's just that um, um, we have to see the maps and you tell me what you think in your comments. Uh, we know that Long Valley Caldera is a supervolcano. It's about 600 miles southwest of Yellowstone, which is another supervolcano. And Long Valley Caldera is one of the high threat volcanoes sitting on the Walker Lane Fault System. It's had an uptick in uh, earthquake swarms, as did Yellowstone, since the Ridgecrest earthquakes of July 4th and 5th. And um, we recently had an uptick of quite substantial uh, size earthquakes. We had the Salt Lake City 5.7 out of nowhere. We had the Northwest Texas 5.2 out of nowhere. Then we had the um, area just west of Yellowstone 6.5 and we're still having swarms there. And now all of a sudden we have a 5.2 near Long Valley, Mono Lake. Let's take a look at the maps. Here we are at Sizewa Berkeley, and this is our 5.2. This is our uh, 4.1. Uh, even though the blue are today, but you know, it's basically the 24 hour period. This was, you know, a day ago, obviously. 8.8 .8 kilometer depth, 4.1, 7.5 kilometer depth. And uh, this is what it's about. Uh, uh, it's the, they're pretty close to each other. This is a, the 4.6, 8.4, 9 kilometer depth, and this is uh, 4.0. And it's in the Mono Lake area, Owens Valley. There we are, Mono Valley. And this is our area of the Long Valley Caldera. This whole thing is a Long Valley Caldera. It takes in Mono Lake, of course, Tom's Place, all the Mammoth Lakes, this is all Long Valley Caldera. And we do have a geothermal plant there. And um, going to our 5.2, let's go to the Shake Mac. Oh, I want to see how many people felt that, just a minute. I think there must have been, even though there's not that many people living there. Sorry, let's go back. Where are we? There we are. We still, we, you still see that we have quake swarms there. The red are the past hour, right there. Okay, two point. These are these are just the ones that are over two two point nine two point. These are just the ones that are over two point five. So if we put in all the earth earthquakes, we'll have a lot more, obviously. And let's take a few seconds to see that as well. Okay, there we go. So this is all in the area of the um, Long Valley called Long Valley, Long Valley Mono Valley Long Valley. This is the Long Valley Caldera area. Let's take this off. Okay, that's it right there. And coming back out, uh, we can see that we still have um, quake swarms here. Okay, this was just yesterday. And these are, of course, Idaho, the uh, Valley of the um, Valley of the Moon crater, the craters here that have we we have seen before nine volcanoes in idaho making that um seven mark that, that shape of a seven so at nine in idaho we have a yellowstone right here that's yellowstone lake and we have another eight south of salt lake that's a, making a, a mark of a seven the shape of a seven that's the mantle plume that comes all the way from baja right there and we know from the large uh heavy bombardment that Wyoming has a mantle plume, they said, from at that time, from the large heavy bombardment that had took place on Earth about 4 billion years ago. But let's go to our, um, how many people felt that? 1,704, even though there's not that many people living there. And uh, this is the shake map. They've been good enough to put it there. As we can see, it stops at a square. And... Um, Again, this is a 5.2, the 5.2, okay. 
as you can see, we don't have that much population living there, obviously, on the Long Valley Caldera area. And they stopped the shake map there. But if you extend it, you can see uh, perhaps they may, maybe they felt it in, um, in the Bay Area. I don't know. But uh, as we said, there aren't that many people living there. Let's go to the Long Valley Caldera Volcano Discovery. The Long Valley Caldera, east of the central Nevada Range, California, is a result of a giant explosive eruption that happened 760,000 years ago. Formed the widespread and voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years. Of course, they do not include these um, the the uh, latest quakes. I don't know why they did that. They didn't do that. Okay, they did not put that in. But anyway, that's okay. We just saw them. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation and caldera floor and quake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. In order to better study and monitor the caldera and possible further changes, GSGS um, has established Long Valley Observatory. Here is our Mono Lake, and basically where this uh, legend is, that's where we had our quake swarm that we saw. Where is it? Mono Lake. Let's go back to our Mono Lake. And, okay. There we go. There's Mono Lake and there's our quake swarm. So there's Mono Lake and our quake swarm would be where this legend is. And um, this whole area, simplified geologic map of Long Valley Caldera and the Mono in your craters, the chain. Okay, this is it right here. The background, following the Bishop Tuff eruption and the formation of Long Valley Caldera 760,000 years ago, activity continued in the central part of the caldera to form a lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. And later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge, Owens River Gorge, uh, around here. Okay. Oh, here, here we go. Owens Valley, o Owens River Gorge, right there. It drained through there. The water drained through there. Basically, that goes into Ridgecrest, as you can see right here. Okay. Uh, about a hundred miles down, downstream. So. Uh, okay, it, Owens River Gorge. The younger Inyo craters overlap the caldera on the northwest but are chemically tectonically distinct from the Long Valley magmatic system. Now, I want to show you the magma plume um, coming from Baja, from uh, what we had read in previous articles and made uh, videos on. That's the magma plume that goes into a Y shape. Um, this west part is in two blocks, the San Andreas and Walker Lane Fault System. The magma is under there. And then there's another tangent, the cross section that we've seen many times, going through Utah and into Yellowstone. Okay, And then it makes that um, very strange, um, very close to the surface. The magma is very close to the surface here. And it's under Utah as well. We've seen that many a time. So all of you there, please be very careful. And they're still ongoing. I'll leave links below for you for this. So 5.2 in the Long Valley Caldera. And I'm not making this up, OK? This is, I'm not fear mongering. This is what USGS is telling us. Uh, 1,700 and some odd people reported it to USGS. I would assume that many more have felt it. And I'll leave links below for you for this. And uh, God bless you and uh, protect you and provide for you always. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse 
and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.